G'day, I'm Aussie Mark, and I'm here today at the top of the walk that goes from Horseshoe Bay on Magnetic Island, trying to get to Radical Bay, which is, that's the sign there, 700 metres to go. I've come up 500 metres, and now we're about to head back down. Radical Bay is a beautiful spot, and I'll tell you a bit more about it as you watch the footage. Hope you enjoy it. And by the way, if you find any time during the footage that you really are um, enjoying what you see, I'd really love it if you give me a thumbs up by clicking that, uh, that thumbs up button, that like button, and subscribe would be fantastic so that you could get a uh, notification or uh, get to see when I make future videos with my drone and my camera as I walk around and travel around North Queensland. Look up in the tree behind me. It is a honest to God live wild koala. I'm going to move the camera forward so that you can have a closer look at it. Isn't it unbelievable? Well, I made it to Radical Bay. Let's check out the footage, see what you think of this beautiful place. It is absolutely unbelievably gorgeous. If you've never been here, make the effort. And you don't have to walk to this one, there is a driving track as well. It is four wheel drive, but it is a driving track. Check it out. There used to be a resort here, Radical Bay Resort, which opened in 1970. Built over four years at a cost of $95,000, their establishment boasted 84 beds, a dining room, coffee lounge and cocktail bar. They spent a further $180,000 on improvements to private road access, electricity, water and telephone services at the bay, which incidentally was named after the Magnetic Island Survey vessel, MV Radical. 1987, the Kern Corporation bought Radical Bay Resort for a reported $4 million, with plans for a 250 room redevelopment for the family and convention market. Unfortunately, the Kern Empire collapsed, enabling the Townsville-based syndicate Trinity Group to acquire the site from the receivers in 1992 at a bargain basement price. In 2001, Sunshine Coast-based Juniper Property Holdings bought the then derelict 7.4 hectare site for $1.34 million from the Trinity Group, planning 12 four-bedroom beach houses and 100 apartments in buildings up to four storeys high. But in 2002, an estimated 200 opponents rallied at the beach, calling on local and state authorities to protect its charm and beauty. Juniper later downscaled its $60 million proposal. The developers remained in limbo since 2011, when the City Council rejected the developers' plans for a gated community at the Bay. Alrighty, all the best. See ya. Hooroo.